They've been looking for it for like over like over 30 years, homie. 30 years? 30 years, man. Come on, I paid for this thing 30 years ago. Hey, is this where your cousin lives? Is this where your cousin lives over here? This aircraft of yours is being repossessed. This uh, this uh, motorhome that we're gonna get that everybody's talking about. I mean, th this motorhome is the talk of the whole finance company. It's the talk of everyone right now. They can't believe that after almost 30 years, we're gonna repossess this uh, this motorhome. The guy bought it and he took it to Canada. And who gets to experience something like that 29 years later? Us. Imagine the stories that people are telling right now. 29 years later, brother. We nabbed this guy, we caught him, you know? That's the beauty of this repossession. It's not about, you know, taking away his motor home or making him look bad. It's not about any of that, it's a historical moment, man. But you know, the thing about these guys is that these guys get crazy, they're from Canada, they have a visa, they can lose their visa. So if we have to call a cop, we'll call a cop. Bro, I think you should be, you should be able to pick a 79. Sonia, oh, yeah. pep up, please get a little perky because you're like sitting there. And I'm just thinking that if they don't pick up their property within 60 days and they got any kind of music going through, I got dibbies right now. Okay, well that's fine. <laughs> you know I got dibbies right now. Yeah, 60 days, 61st day, the property is yours. It, it feels good when you're going to do a repo with the family and it actually feels like a family and not like this functional family. Yeah, he was happy because he goes that he's glad that, you know, I haven't been arguing that we straighten out our differences and obviously, you know, everything is fine as long as you don't owe me no money. Oh, Pick up man. Both of the plates. Well, there's okay, nobody okay, in the, okay, in you the know front, what? so. That's right, I'm gonna block it. Sonia, get out, Fred, get out. You, you want me to out. try picking it right yeah. away? With the guys inside? Just, you know, go over there with Sonia. Wait till I get out there, bro. I'm gonna I'll hit the boom and block it. I want them to know that we meant business. Okay. Some of the band members were in there and we could see them and yeah, well obviously you got band members, you got an old motor home, so obviously we know it has to be this one. Come on now. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm looking for a Chuck Who's that? That's, me. That's you, how you doing, man? Uh I have an order for repossession for this Cortez small home here. They've been looking for it for like over like over 30 years, homie. 30 years. 30 years, man. Come on, I paid for this thing 30 years ago. Now, if you know me, I try not to argue with the people or with Sonia or even with the boss. I'm just a happy guy and I try to do my job as well as I can and I try not to argue with nobody. Uh, Sonia, what? Let me see the order. What, what's the guy's name? Oh, what's your order? Chuck, name? right here. No, this, we've, we've had, this, we've had, this, had like, this forever. Yeah, we've had this forever. Before. Yeah, no, this right. thing, this thing was bought, this thing was bought here, okay, and you guys, somebody took it, the RO took it to Canada, and never brought it back. So you guys were roaming around getting yeah. tickets, yeah. and we got this, you. This, this has Canadian registration, man. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're not in Canada no more, brother. This is, you're in the United States of America. This belongs to us. This is the United States. So, at that time, it's my job to go around the car, get in, and try to get it started. Now, it is an old car, but at the same time, I'm trying to keep an eye on Sonia and on Louis because there is about seven of them and only three of us. Troy, where's Troy at? Inside. He's inside? Oh, oh damn, that was fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't have our son. Okay, relax, man. We got a gig in like 10 minutes. Wait, dude. Hey, I only can talk to one person, man. I only can talk to one person. Okay, give me the keys. Okay. Give me the keys. Well, you know, there was a confrontation between Sonia, Louis, and some of the guys uh, that were in the band. Now, usually, you know, because there's a lot of them, I would try to get out of the car and see how I can help Lou. But I don't really see them getting too physical, and I don't really see anything wrong going, so I'm not going to get out of my, the car and let someone else get in my seat. And then they take possession and we lose the vehicle. Did you buy that here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So you guys are you guys are full of no, 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 no. Yeah. You guys are full of Canadian. He, he's American, but this is like, we're on four. Okay. Yeah, we can't get our tour over here, man. We, we have other cities to go to. They're fighting because they want their instruments. They're arguing the point that it's theirs. You guys, don't let them get in there. Bro, right, you guys, we have our stuff. Relax, man. You guys, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something. You guys keep on playing around, 
we're you guys gonna have a real. problem. Just, you guys are gonna lose your visas. Quit being stupid. But we're, we're banned. We're I don't care if you're banned. Yeah, but we're we're banned. Yeah, we're 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 yeah, I'm gonna end up calling the cops. Yeah, get, 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 get these guys out of here, man. Get them out of the freaking thing. Can we just get ours? Bro, how we doing, man? How we doing? Hey, hey, hey. Dude, chill out. How we doing, friend? so obviously you know things are handled we let them get their instruments out they got it they, well, move it out of the way. They can't take it right now. They can take this later. You got the key. The only problem was it, it is an old vehicle. The hydro started, and I'm trying to put it in reverse, and I swear, I'm putting it in reverse. It says reverse, and I can feel it in reverse, and it just wouldn't go. No, you're neutral. You're neutral. You're neutral. Okay, go all the way up. Parcel. Hey, okay, go down and go up. And Lou even tried to help me, and he couldn't get it in reverse. And I'm getting nervous now because I'm thinking, okay, now that these guys figure out that we can't live, really get out of there, they're gonna really try to attack us now. And I bet you the guys were making fun of him, like, oh, he can't handle it, man, he can't even pull it out. And let me tell you, I was thinking, yeah, okay, how does it feel to be on the hot seat? Yo, I moved it here all the way. Okay. I need a business card, man. Give me okay, something. Okay, hold on, relax, relax, dude. Hold on, here, there's a business card. Okay, go ahead, bro, go straight back. But I finally got it in reverse, and I just noticed that it wasn't reverse, you just had to give it extremely a big amount of gas for it to even move. So I got it going. Good job, bro, let's roll. This thing will not go in freaking neutral, bro. Let's get out of here, watch the traffic. Well, let this be a lesson to everyone. It doesn't matter what year your vehicle is, doesn't matter what condition it is. If you're not paying for it, and you can go 30 years without paying for it, when we find you, you're gonna lose it. Doesn't matter what it is, or how much it is, or what you think that people forgot about it. Finances don't forget. They do not forget. What are you talking hey, about? Is this where your cousin lives? Is this where your cousin lives over here? <laughs> a cock sound? Co cod. Cod. Oh, like, like, like rock cod. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are we looking for? We're looking for a 2008 Chevy Aveo. Um, What's the address? I thought it was sort of stupid that we were going to his workplace after hours because it was a long shot that he'd be there. Look at, oh. okay, we're going to his POE, right? Mm -hmm. Because I've already been in his address and this car never shows up. And you know, it's those little tiny cars, they kind of look like the Toyota Echo, okay. only a little bit more shorter. It's the, the back end is, isn't so scooped up, you know? I wish I wanted to drink that soda. <laughs> I gotta take it. You know what? Do you have time for me to start and take a leak somewhere? Hey, man, come on, man. Take care of your community. You can't be pissing all over town. Why didn't you see like these bushes right back here? Dude, you gotta be me. No, I gotta be pissing you. Okay, what's it look? What's it? What's it? That's a Corolla. Yeah. You heard it talking, cat. What caught us to the surprise, or what kind of like was like, whoa, is that when we drove up, there was a, it, it was running business. I mean, the gates were open, you know, and I could smell the freaking pain, and I'm like, How you doing? Are you Larry? Yeah. Okay. Well, my name is Sonia. Sonia. And uh, you are the owner of a 2008 Chevy Aveo, right? Okay, right. well, it's up for repossession. We've been to your house. I have not seen the car there. Okay, we're here to pick it up. Because okay, I, I know you didn't walk over well, here. I don't, I don't have a car. Um, I don't have that car right now. What, what do you mean? Okay, where is it at? I, I, I let my cousin, uh, my cousin has been borrowing it. Okay. Then I asked him, uh, he had told me where the car was. He said it was at his cousin's house. I told him, well, go ahead and give me the address to your cousin's house. And that's when we started to find things out. What? What? All right, go ahead. You mind? I'm gonna take a leak. And Matt says, you know what? I, I need to go to the bathroom. 
As a man, pissing behind a trash can, it, it, I don't consider that gross in any way, shape, or form. So meanwhile, while Matt's doing his thing, which he happened to choose behind the trash can, when he opens up that pit where that trash can was, where was the car? Hey, about? is this where your cousin lives? Is this where your cousin lives over here? Inside that freaking little pit. And it was a small car, and I'm asking, I'm telling them, what the hell? And I'm going, why you have to lie like that? Why you have to me like that? And uh, keep in mind that thanks to my gross habits, so to speak, uh, I found the car. Hey, they pay you guys extra for being here late? You don't need to what? talk to my employees. All right, you want to get away from the dumpster, man. Come on. Hey, let's stop going through my trash. No, I'm gonna go through the trash. So I tell him in Spanish, hey, you know what? Are you guys getting paid? And right away they said, we don't have nothing to say. We can't say nothing. You know, like scared of losing their job or whatnot. So this guy is telling me of how professional he is and how he runs his business and, and la 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 la. And, and yet he can't answer any damn questions. You know what? I'm gonna be reporting You're that. Right. Hey, I'll have the police here in a heartbeat, man. Come on. Hey. Don't threaten me with police hey, action. I'll have the police here. Hey, man. Can we just work something out? No, we can't. I'm going to take the car. That's what we can work out. Okay. I don't want to lose the car. You Let me tell you something. It. If I don't get the key, I'm going to be following a report because your employees right in there, they're not getting paid overtime and you have them here working. That's illegal. Oh, you're doing Well, you know, if I, you know, Sonia's threatening him with his employees and I'm threatening him with the police. Because let me tell you something. It is illegal to be having all these people working and you're not paying them. That is not honest. What are you doing? There? Don't do, don't do that. Make, can we just? Can, I mean, can, can I? No, give us the key. No, I tell you what you can do. Right you can give me the key, and you can arrange with your finance company to get the car well, back. How am I supposed to get to work tomorrow? That's not my problem. My problem now is taking this car. Your problem is not having the police show up in front of your employees. You tell me what you want to do, man. Are you gonna give them the key or not? Here, Matt. You know, at this point. I thought we had had the situation all wrapped up, but it was obvious to me this wasn't done trying to piss me off. You want to play games? You want to play games? Just the key to the car, huh? You gonna give me the real key or not? And then the little punk gives Matt a key that doesn't even belong to the damn car. So now Matt's more irate. Okay? Huh? What? 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 Huh? So that you came in and see, I came in and you still got in your face, man. Huh? Oh, Matt, let's go. Huh? You touch me? You touch me? Go ahead, man. Tomorrow I'll be paid. Huh? Get your yeah. off me, man. Huh? You're really pushing my patience. And for those of you who don't like the way I deal with people, well, you can kiss my <laughs> on that one. You get up in my face like that, we're going to have a problem. Huh? You're going to give me the real key or not? Stop being bossy? No, I'm not going to stop being bossy. You're going to give me the real key or not? Huh? So finally, when they move the car, I back up, Matt backs up, and I'm gonna tell you, this guy was so foolish. I'm still reporting him, regardless. You know what? What? I'm gonna file a report with the labor board. I'm gonna have him come down on that freaking company, and when and when we come back, you can bend over and have him kiss your butt. Like All right, going. sounds good to me. That's what I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying, go. Boogie, okay, boogie, okay. The only thing that really bothers me about a, a repo like this is, is doing this with Sonia. You know, I don't feel all that comfortable having Sonia as backup, okay? Uh, when I get physical with somebody, it, uh, I have to admit, it does bother me. This aircraft of yours is being repossessed. Hi. Um, I'm looking for the plane with this tail number on it. Any way you could tell me? We're repoing a jet today, and there's a big potential for us to make a lot of money. So if we're able to pull this off, it's going to be really cool, and I'm really excited about it. It never fails, man. We always have some kind of situation or some kind of issue when we do a repossession at the airport. But in this case, I'm pretty confident that Linda's going to be able to get the information that we need. That way we can successfully repossess this jet. Hello. Hey, Dan. Yes. It's me, um, so I'm here, over here with this, with this plane, but we got a problem. What happened? The guy just told me that the plane's out on the ramp, that it's, oh my god. <laughs> That's our plane! Uh, the plane just, just took off. Okay. Yeah, 
Well, the guy told me it's headed to Camarillo anyway. Okay, so for sure it's headed to Camarillo? Yeah, he's, he said he was certain. I mean, when Linda told me this airplane was heading to Camarillo, I was ecstatic. This meant that now we can do our job without any restrictions. The guys at this airport, they know us, they support us. You know, we do work there all the time. Yeah, we still had to do some quick planning, but hey, trust me, I was relieved when I got the news from my daughter. First, before I go into the details, Manuel, brother, when that thing gets here, your camera guys gotta stay out of the way and they gotta be safe. Do not get behind the aircraft. A repossession like this takes a lot of collaboration from a lot of different people. And it takes one person to put this together. Okay, that's me. I've already notified NAS because we don't want to get blown out of the sky. That's for sure. Thank okay, you. Okay, we have the uh, uh, permission from the FAA to be on the ramp. So once the guy gets here, once he lands, mm -hmm. okay, you're going to go ahead and jump in here with this gentleman here on his tug. Okay. Lou wanted me to disguise myself uh, and work with the ground crew, but um, I don't really think that disguises me too much. I think people are starting to know who I am by now. We got uh, Froy. He's okay. up in the air, and he's with Esteban, and hopefully uh, he's going to call us. The and helicopter, the helicopter is up in the air, and okay. they're just waiting for, uh, for the jet to get here. Basically, my role in this repo was just, you know, air support basically, you know, make sure that if he happens to move or land somewhere, I can spot him up in the air. I'm Esteban Jimenez, and I'm the top helicopter pilot for Twin Air. Once a helicopter gets here, it's gonna block him in. Okay. Because we don't want this guy trying to power in or power out. That's why we have to have that tow bar connected. You got it. We utilized the helicopter in this particular repossession. We needed to make sure that this jet was gonna be secured. This is a high dollar repossession, brother. This is no joke. All right, man, let's rock and roll. Just tell me exactly what you need me to do out there, okay? Yeah, no problem. All right, man. It's not too common that we get repossessions, uh, you know, when you have an $8 million jet. Uh, this is a different type of situation. It's a private owner. Basically what I did was I followed the jet in as he taxied after he landed, and uh, all I was there to do was just to block, block him from going anywhere. I was gonna land behind him and not let him go anywhere, pretty much. Go, nice. go, 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 Hey, how you guys doing, man? Hey, what's going on? Hey, not much. Everything good? Yeah, everything's fine. All right, you're the pilot of this aircraft? Yeah, what, what are they uh, doing over there? Well, I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to tell you, where, who are you? Who are you? Oh, okay. Listen, man, just let me explain to you what's going on. We have to unfortunately tell you, okay, that uh, this aircraft of yours is being repossessed. Repossessed? We, yeah, we got you. It's repossessed. You know, once, once I saw the owner coming out of the plane, I, I had to know that he was foreign. I mean, he was wearing a funny hat and the way he was dressed. So the last thing I thought is that he was actually going to give us any kind of problem, and God, we were wrong. He, he owns your, the plane. You're the owner? Yeah, he's okay. the owner. Okay, how you doing? Lou Pizarro. Okay, listen, man. The, the aircraft is being repossessed. Okay, you already know. They've been trying to contact you. You're behind a hundred and something thousand dollars. a rumor? No, this is not a joke. This is serious. I was there with the ground crew to make sure that they were not molested in any way when they were trying to do their job, okay? And um, also, too, you know, I've never hooked up a plane before, and they actually taught me something new. Hey, repossess. We own it. Yeah, we own it. Let me have that. Yeah, let me have that. Relax. Yeah, you can call, but it's repossessed. That's it. You guys stand back. Stand back. It's no longer your aircraft. Listen, we have control of the aircraft, it is ours. What are these Stand guys by. doing? It's a repossession. This is insane. Don't worry, they're this here for our safety. Relax, we get out of my face. We own it. It's, it's ours. ours, it's ours. So Stay back, stay, stay back, back. right there. Don't come over the line. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Over here. Stay back. I'm not playing around with you boys. Play around. Stay back. The owner of the plane starts getting a little too mouthy. He wants to start arguing and, and fighting with Matt. And Matt actually kept his cool, which, you know, I'm glad he did. I mean, he, he was very professional about it. I just explained to you it's not your aircraft. You haven't made the payment. It's repossessed. We repossessed it. He's verifying the information. There's nothing you can do. 
This okay? Is unacceptable. And you're a part. You should have made the payment. Yes, you're right. It's oh, unacceptable. Oh, it's a tough guy. Right? Hey, man, listen. Man. Do not provoke hey, my guys. What is he? Do not provoke my guys. No. Good cop, bad cop. You got three guys. You guys, bunch of knuckleheads. Step back, please. Just step back. Step back. Are you done? Outstanding. So you understand what's going on? I understand what's going on. Okay. All right. Yeah, you might want to calm him down. Please calm him down because he's going to get in trouble. Get your stuff ready. The main problem with the owner of this plane was that like most overprivileged upper upper class in our society they have a sense of entitlement and they don't like being told no and who are you i'm one of the reprocessors i work for them as well oh you're a big man huh i didn't say i was man, a big huh? man i'm just asking you to please step back so nobody has to get hurt as soon as you finish paying for it it can be all your jet all you want let me tell you guys okay this is the way it should go down every single time good job man Good job on every, everybody's part, man. You should take my jet. Why am I taking it? Because you didn't my make the payment. But you didn't make your payment. If you make your payment, you wouldn't have that problem. Trust me. <laughs> He's pissed, bro. Look at that. Take us <laughs> home, baby. Let's go. Take you can money. use some of their money to pay your plane, and you can get it back. At the moment, I can't take the money from you. Good job, boy. Let's get out of here. So we ready to go then? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. It's turning burn, baby. So when we go after one of these big, rich guys, I, I, you know, I get excited, you know, I'm going to take their aircraft. It's not a good thing to do, you know, if there's another helicopter, I kind of feel bad about it, but, you know, I'm doing my job. Yeah, actually, yes, I am fond of cigars. I, we had to celebrate, brother, and I'll tell you, and we're still celebrating, all right? So one of the things that I, I just want to tell my team here, outstanding job, and I love it when a plan comes together.